Hi there. Let's take a look at the chapter two mid-level, specifically the um, step number two, the if function. Okay, so I'm going to show the instructions on the screen here. Let me just move this over so we can read them. Step two tells us use, an, use if functions to calculate the regular pay and the overtime pay based on a regular 40-hour work week. And then we're going to put those two if statements in cells E5 and F5. And for this video, I'm going to try to just do the one in E5. I'll do a separate video for F5. All right, so now I have the spreadsheet showing here. And let me, before we begin, let me just give you an example of an if statement. So let's say I give an if statement to my kids, just as an example. If you do your homework, then you get a cookie. An if statement always has three parts. There's the test, what you do if it's true, and what you do if it's false. So in my example, the test is, did you do your homework? If that's true, the result is you get a cookie. If that's not true, you didn't do your homework, the result is zero, you get no cookie. Um, so that's my if statement, and if statement always has those three parts. We have if statements, we'll, we'll use that exact same setup for our if statements here. Um, but our if statements also get a little more complicated because we've, we're learning other things along the way and we'll build those in. So let's go ahead and build our if, our if statement. So an if statement is really just using the if function. So we're going to apply our rules for writing functions in Excel. Rule number one, you always type the equal sign. Rule number two, function name. Rule number three, the function pieces go within parentheses. So I'm going to type my left hand parentheses. Now let's think about what our test is going to be. Our test, um, or let's think about our if statement in regular English before we think about it and how we have to write it in Excel. Our regular statement, if we're the employer, our regular statement is we're going to pay somebody their hourly wage for the first 40 hours they, we they work. If they work anything beyond that, we'll pay them overtime pay. But for the first 40 hours, they just get their hourly wage. All right, so let's go ahead and build our, our if statement. So we're going to say if D5 is less than or equal to, um, what do we have here, B21, then what? So this is our test. If D5 is less than or equal to B21, that's going to be our test. Now here's our first little um, nuance to the, to the um, Excel. B21 needs to be an absolute reference. B21 will never change. When we copy and paste this formula to other places, or really what we're going to do is autofill it down, we want D5 to change. We want D5 to become D6, D7. Do you see how that goes down? But B21, we never want B21 to change. It should always point to B21. So it needs to be an absolute reference. So the way that I've done this is I've highlighted B21 and on my keyboard, I'm gonna hit F4. You can just type in the dollar signs. It's a dollar sign before the column letter B and a dollar sign before the row number, in our case, 21. Okay, the different parts of your if statement get separated by commas. So I'm gonna type in a comma. That first part that we just wrote is our test. Now we have to determine, well, what are we gonna do if that test is true? Well, let's think about it in English again. If a worker has worked 40 hours or less, 40 hours or less, what happens? Well, if that's true, they just get paid their regular wage. If you've worked 40 hours, in this particular case, then this person only gets paid $9.95 an hour. So if this is true, then we're going to say, we'll take D5, take the number of hours worked. When this person down below um, has only worked 35 hours, then we're just going to take 35 hours. That's all we're going to pay them for. All right, another comma, because that is what we're, that's the result of what if the test is true. We're going to say take D5, so another comma. Well, what if the test is false? If someone has not worked 40 hours or less, it means they've worked overtime. And so we need to figure out or we need to say how many hours should they be paid their regular wage. So I want you to, it's a little bit backwards. I want you to think about this for a second. What we're going to say is if they have not worked 40 hours or less, we want to pay them their regular wage for 40 hours. And where does that 40 hours sit? It sits right here in B21. So again, I'm going to take B21 and make it an absolute reference, a four on my keyboard. That will never change. 
Now that we have the, this part of the if statement, which says, if they've worked 40 hours or less, take the numbers of hours that they've worked. If not, take 40 and times that, and for us in Excel, we use the asterisk, times that times their um, hourly wage, which is, in this case, C5. C5 will change, so we'll just let it be C5. It'll change to C6 and C7 as we autofill it down. So, and that's just the math part of it. The first if statement is figuring out how to do, how do we determine the hours that they've worked, um, regular hour wages, and that's that if statement. Once we've figured that out, then we'll multiply it by their hourly wage, press enter on your keyboard, and there's my answer for this first person. Now, you can see I already had this done, so the rest is filled in just because I already had it done, but what you would want to do is take your autofill, so I'm hovering my mouse, click, hold, and drag it down the rest of the way. Okay, let's bump over. Oh, so I'm going to stop the video here, and I'll make another video for the other half of step two, which is um, creating an if statement in F5.